MK party leader Jacob Zuma criticized the country's present leadership harshly in an intense speech at Orlando Stadium, claiming they had lost their way and were unable to properly guide the country. Before we continue, please kindly hit on the subscribe button. Thank you. Speaking to tens of thousands of supporters at the MK Party's election manifesto launch, Zuma underlined how urgently the nation needs new leadership to change its course. With thunderous applause from the assembly, Zuma said, The people who are leading the country right now have lost direction of where the country is going. The former president gave a speech outlining his goals for the future of the nation, emphasizing social fairness, economic recovery, and anti-corruption initiatives. He emphasized the need of accountable and transparent administration, promising that the MK Party will rebuild public confidence in democratic institutions. In his address, Zuma brought up a number of important issues, such as the worsening state of the economy, growing rates of unemployment, and widening socioeconomic divides. He expressed disapproval for how the present government has handled these matters, claiming that their policies have caused individuals to become disillusioned and stagnant. Zuma said, The MK Party is dedicated to getting the nation back on track. We have a comprehensive strategy with social equality, job development, and economic growth as top priorities. Our manifesto is a promise to the public that we will really implement change, not merely a written statement. A new direction for South Africa, the election platform, has bold goals for healthcare reform, educational reform, and infrastructure development. It also calls for strict action against corruption, which Zuma said was a significant hindrance to the country's advancement. With his speech at Orlando Stadium, Zuma cemented the MK Party's status as a serious competitor in the run-up to the elections. Many South Africans looking for change and capable leadership find resonance in Zuma's plea for a fresh approach as the nation gets closer to Election Day. With Zuma's captivating leadership and the MK Party's audacious pledges primed to upend the existing quo, the political environment is poised for fierce battle. Naturally, President Cyril Ramaphosa's assertions on the advantages of the NHI are a series of falsehoods. However, they are symbolic falsehoods. They tell a lot about the guy and provide light on why he has caused so much destruction in our nation, particularly for the impoverished black population. Will he succeed in spreading misinformation about the NHI? Will they increase his standing and aid the ANC in garnering support on the 29th? Based on the current public reaction, they are going to be quite successful. Will people still trust Ramaphosa if the implementation of NHI results in a sharp rise in the number of deaths and illnesses among our impoverished population and he falsely claims that wealthy white racists are solely to blame? In my opinion, yes. Does he think his own falsehoods are true? It is harder to respond to that. Ramaphosa's essence is professional deception. He is skilled at it, and it has greatly increased his wealth and influence. He's got the appropriate expression and innate charisma for it. Thus far, he has also been fortunate to target the appropriate audience, which consists of wealthy and remorseful white people as well as desperate and credulous impoverished black people. Due to the epidemic of farm murders in the USA in 2018, South Africa received negative press, including cases in which young people and the elderly were shot, tortured, and hacked to death. President Ramaphosa said to Bloomberg on September 26, 2018, that there are no killings of farmers or white farmers in South Africa. This was a whole fabrication. By then, the South African police had counted more than 1,700 farm killings. However, I'm sure his deception worked. The almost all-woke U.S. mainstream media was thrilled to learn that right-wing and white racists in South Africa were the ones who invented the farm killings. Their actual grievance was that a black president, a saint, was now in charge of the country. Peter Greenwald of the Freedom Front Plus questioned Ramaphosa on farm killings in Parliament in November 2021. He sidestepped the topic and said, I'd like to ask him some interesting questions myself. In a usual dishonest way, when our people were being massacred by the apartheid system, what action did he take? That is the issue I would raise since, from what I can see, he is white, and being white entails supporting the apartheid government, my emphasis. This untruth is especially ridiculous since Ramaphosa interacted with many good, moral white individuals who he knew were against apartheid and wanted it to end. He is filthy when he lies.